And we're live. Hi everyone, this is Amp Kimmer, and I'll be returning to Beyond All Reason Cast. Now moving on to a 3v3 on the Charlie and the Hills Remake version 1.1. For top side, we have Dead Tortoise as Red. Orange is Apostus. Yellow is Gold, please. And for bottom side, we have Edron as Green. Blue is Badger Man. And Teal is Benningjing? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is not the first time we've seen this map. So, the last two times. So, the last two times, um, it's been 4v4 where we have one player on the high ground and then that player went for air units while everybody else went for ground units. So, uh, I'm not expecting. T it's interesting seeing three players down here. So, maybe someone might go air or maybe not. Maybe they'll just all go for ground forces. You see some ticks. Are we going to see any early raids? Sometimes they get intercepted. Yeah, these rovers are quick. But if you're not paying attention... Oof. Yeah, it doesn't look like these ticks are going to get much done. It, it takes up a lot of Micron. To get ticks to work. If they do work, man, they really pay off. I don't think there's much of a harassment on the other side. We do see... Interesting. Tia's making an early push? I would go, yeah, I would go after the resources as opposed to worrying about, uh... Claiming, damn, that Lazarus got a kill. Does it count as a kill? Wait, is there ever a death counter? I don't think so. I don't think they're, I don't think they're doing any economic damage. That's the problem. At this point, they're just giving uh, Orange basically a lot of a lot more metal to work with. So that might backfire. I think there was some engagement on the left flank, but not much. I guess that pawn... Man, Tio is really aggressive. It's quite interesting. Oh, there are some pawns... Interesting. I mean, Tio isn't wrong. <laughs> I I can't wait. Is does nobody have a radar? I don't think either side has a radar. Ooh, are they gonna? We're gonna see some brief engagements here. Wow, Orange got more done. They took out the Lazarus. And the pawn. Why did they have two sentries so close together? Don't you normally want to have a uh, better coverage? I don't know. Anyways, yellow and green seem to be playing a more standard map. Oh my god, there's a radar. Oh my god, they have radars. That is incredible. And red is just. Do they have a radar? Like... Oh, they do. Okay. I was like, how are they even... How did they even know that they're pushing in? I'm like, I haven't seen a single radar yet. But I was just looking in the wrong places. Does Orange have a radar? It seems like Orange and Teal have... I basically said that, yeah, we're gonna have... They have an agreement that neither of them are going to build a radar. I'm joking. I, I, 
I mean, I haven't seen any, so that might be the case. So we have a, a bit of a skirmish here. I'm surprised. Wow, Teal is really greedy. Teal is like, I'm just gonna get a bunch of units. Are they pushing through? Red is getting... Red is making it work. Like, they're not losing that much. Ooh. Uh, Tia might be isolated. Yeah, Teal's commander is in a really bad spot. Getting swamped like this is extremely bad. Uh, might not make it. Damn. Yeah, now they smell blood. And the thing is, the commander is so slow. I don't think we have any engagements here. We do have some Rocketeers, so... If, if Green starts making any kind of push... I mean, Yellow's commander is kind of vulnerable right now. Okay. Teal is like, okay, my commander has a... Uh... Yeah, Teal's like, my commander has uh, tested fate long enough. But currently, I feel like... Hey, Orange got a radar. Oh my god. That's a really aggressive radar, but they have the map control. Which is actually nuts when you really think about it. Yeah, Teal was aggressive, didn't get much done, and actually probably gave uh, Orange a boost there. And Blue is just leaving these units out. Which is generally not a great idea. Okay, we see a bit of, of an engagement here. I think red has the advantage. They have the incisors as like the front line. And then they have the centurions to pick off the lighter. Wait, do I see air units? What? Wait, what? It has to be red, right? Yeah. I was like, I don't think Orange had the luxury of getting air units. Yeah, so far it feels like Blue and Teal hasn't done much in terms of uh, map control. And Blue has got a Stark to take advantage of the resources here. Nobody has... wait. No, they haven't. Interesting. I mean, it's one of those... see, like... It's, it's okay, like... These, these rocks are nice to have. They're great to possess. But they're unlikely to... Uh... They're unlikely to... Uh, how do you say it? They're unlikely to change the tide. Like that map, I think command center or something. That was nuts because you had a single plot of water. Uh, or something that's not obvious, right? Like like if you see rocks and you don't use it, that's a different matter. But it's it's a complete different matter when you have something that people don't usually use, like I mean you might use tidal generators on this map. Ooh, those are pretty good, uh... Those are pretty good shots. What is happening here? Green is... I guess they're just having a stare-off? That's what it feels like. But mo most of the battle does seem to be happening here. 
Now, while the top side seems to have more resources. Tech one constructor? Damn. Why well, are you getting metal? Ooh. Oh, are they competing for it? <laughs> Green is like, come on. I need it. I don't know. Uh, meanwhile. Now, there is a downside of pushing that far forward. Is that if your opponent somehow... Wait. You can pause in multiplayer? Uh, that constructor vehicle probably wished to live a bit longer. Uh, that's really aggressive with their commander. If that commander got picked off while it was in the midst of all those units, that could have turned out pretty bad. Um, I'm not sure how... Wait, is orange attacking alone? Oh no, that's red. Whoops. Oh yeah, so far looking at the engagement, it does seem like... Wait, was there a pause? I can't tell. There's some shell shockers. There's some rocket launchers. I don't know, yellow seems really passive. And kind of just letting uh, green do what they need to do. Or are they actually going to push out? Hard to tell. Sneaky Pete. Okay, they did destroy that. Or they go after the commander? Oh, you don't want uh, rocket launchers to uh, hold man on your commander. Yeah. That's exactly why. And now, green will either smell blood and will go more aggressively through. I don't think, I don't think they're gonna fend, eh, they might make it work. I mean, if they break through here, uh, Red and orange, I mean, red is already coming to assist. But that's the thing, like, if the red is busy there, blue and teal can start pushing there, right? Like, like red cannot be everyone at, everywhere at once. Ooh, if, if orange gets some good deacons off, it can work, but it looks like it's gone. It did take out a good portion of uh, Blue's units. But now, if Blue push forward, I don't think these are enough defenses to slow them down. So right now, the top is in trouble because... Uh, Yellow has just suffered fairly heavy... Whoa, we have light paralyzed drones. Which should turn things around. Oh my god, we have an overwatch here as well. Do they have what's needed to... Man, if they don't have a way to counter the air, it's gonna put them in a really bad spot. And grouping them up against rocket launchers is definitely not the smartest thing. Wait, didn't blue get air? Oh, they went for tech too. Do they have any anti-air? They have this light anti-air. I guess it has enough range. So, red did help prevent this flank from collapsing. Actually, are you going for... See, I, I find in these maps, if you have one player going tier 2 and then rest go tier 1 and just keep applying pressure. Mines, what mines? Oh. 
<laughs> Are there mines? Or is that a mind game? Like you can't always trust. All right. So it looks like things have calmed down after the initial battle, or just try to bring back their uh, commander. I'm surprised how passive green is. Like, green is basically giving yellow a chance to come back into this. Actually, I don't think the top side have any tier 2. I mean, I could be wrong. Red might have it. Yeah, red has... Red does have it. Yeah, these hounds are going to be a pain to deal with. So we... I'm not sure, what are they focusing on? Heavy missile tanks. Against hounds... They're okay. Ooh, is blue making a push? It could backfire if they get a... Uh, if they get picked off. And they got a uh, amphibious anti-air bot, so... So air units are gonna have a lot of trouble. Oof. If blue isn't careful, they're gonna lose these units very quickly. Counts are okay. How many times will orange lose their commander? Wait, why are they still attacking it? I'm so confused. What was that? Oh, Teal's commander is now dead. Yep. And Blue's commander is way too far forward. Yeah, I'm surprised Green hasn't done anything. I mean, Orange's idea is not bad. Like, they do have the ability to keep pushing forward. I don't know what green's doing. Honestly, green is way too passive. If I had that victory, I would probably keep pushing, but... I mean, if, if I were playing, things would go horribly wrong, so... I probably sh shouldn't be uh, sharing my uh, advices and whatnot. Oh, they're getting a another commander. Yeah, right now, blue and T are just getting pushed back. They had an advantage, but they couldn't capitalize, and right now, red just have way too much at their disposal. Man, this is a massacre. Like, this flank is collapsed. Yeah, green has... Honestly, if green had pushed yellow, I think red would have been a lot more, uh... Passive. Yeah, these pawns are definitely going to pay big dividends. Just by getting into Teal's economy. There's really nothing stopping them. I mean, yellow's applying pressure. I, 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 think, I think yellow is just there to make sure that green is preoccupied. And honestly, from the looks of things, I think green is preoccupied. Yeah, now Teal is gone, and at this point, it's, it's pretty much GG. I think... So, so from what I've seen, uh, Blue and Teal didn't apply enough pressure. I think at one point, they had a chance to push deep and maybe even eliminate or really badly cripple Orange. That would have changed things a lot. Uh, Green had an advantage. But green never pushed. Green was too passive. I don't even know what green's been doing. Yeah, green has stayed too passive. And what happened was red kept their forces strong, right? They kept building more. 
And eventually they got enough units that they were able to stop though. And right now the thing is, Blue Cat stopped us. This is too wide of a front. The enemy could swing around, could go through here. If, I mean, if they get amphibious, they could go through here. So honestly, it's really difficult to hold off. And unless there's an epic comeback, which I'm not seeing. Do I hear snipers? I only know snipers because I use them for my scenarios. The really damn difficult scenarios. Yeah, when you overwhelm them, snipers can't do much. And at this point, I think... Yeah, orange. See, this just shows you, you don't need all your teammates to go to tier 2. So I'm going for tier 1. Can... Tortoise. Yeah, Tortoise definitely carry. Red did so much of the work. Okay. So yeah, Red did do a lot of it. Uh, Orange held on. O Orange did what they could. Revive their commander. Have some map presence. For a long time, just, just containing the enemy. Even though I don't... Even though it doesn't go into the score, just containing the enemy just gives you a lot more room to work with. So, so I feel like Orange did the task. Yellow got lucky, I think. I feel like Green could have pushed Yellow and Yellow could have been the uh, flank that collapsed, but that didn't happen. But yeah, kudos to Red. Red was supporting both flanks and then eventually got the forces needed to defeat Teal and then after that it was just a matter of time. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you have a good one.